Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button somewhere in this area. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Okay, hello everyone. So I went to Dollar Tree again, which I'm not gonna do another Dollar Tree haul even though I could. Here's what I know. Um, China has gotten way too much of my, of my money this Halloween. <laughs> I am 100% blaming Ray. She's like, what? Um, <laughs> I Do you remember I bought these? These things? This thing? Hang on. And I went, I don't know what to do with this. I don't even know why I bought it at Michael's. And she said to frame it or light it or I don't know. And then I went, yeah, that's a good idea. And I went to Dollar Tree and they had these, these frames, which uh, I kind of thought it would work, but now I'm realizing they have this little pocket thing here. So that's not gonna work. But what if we remove the pocket? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe. All right, so now we have a frame, right? I don't know. I want to do something with them. Oh, gosh. Ugh, ugh. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. It's been a long day, by the way. It's one of those days where I hate people. Um, I don't know if you've ever been there. <laughs> Sometimes dealing with people is just exhausting. It's just exhausting. And if you're a man and you drive an F-150, I know everything I need to know about you. Just saying. Um, <laughs> had, had eight, not a few. Eight, exactly eight encounters with Ford F-150s today. I know everything I need to know. Okay, so this one is pretty cool. It's got like bats and Halloween-y theme. What if we like framed up this little section of bats and we did like a little hanging thing? You can't even see it. <laughs> Can you even see it? That's what I'm worried about is like doing this project. Do I put white on the back? Should I put white on the back? Like, would that make it better or worse? Do I have paper? No, I don't have paper in here. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's see this. Let's see this. Let's see this. Should I put white on the back? I think so. Well, but then it's really not a, like an x-ray thing. Mm. Mm. See, I don't know why I have this. I don't know why I bought these. Clearly not returning it, but I have it. But now I got to figure out what to do with it. Ooh. Skulls. Oh, oh. There's only one. Look at that one. It's got a village. Village of the Damned right there. I don't know. Maybe this isn't going to work out. Oh, that's kind of cute. So using that on the back of like that. I 
it's a cute little Halloween wall hanging, right? Okay. All right. All right. We're going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. Any thoughts on that? We're going to do that. I've got three frames. So we can do um, other ones or other images. Let's start with the... Um, how do I want to do this? I kind of like that. kind of like this corner up here. I mean, we still have... They're only a dollar twenty-five. I mean... What the heck, Stacy? You can get more. I don't know why I'm being all angsty, like they got to be perfect the first time. That's not like me. It's the day I had today. It's the F-150s. Um, I'm not going to lie. There was a moment today. I was about to curse someone out. And uh, I had to take Miss Victoria up to the store because she got her braces tightened and they were hurting her. We got to get some ice cream. And we had an encounter with the truck, and I'm like, I bet it was a Ford, wasn't it? An F-150? Yeah. Yep, it was. So I don't have a pencil. So we're just doing it my way, which is, you know, probably not the best way, not the proper way. But it's going to get the job done. I had a nice call today from a gentleman who read an article I wrote about um, the schoolhouse. And he thanked me. And I said, gee, most people don't call me unless I've made a mistake. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. bad for not having any clue what I was doing. Look how cute they are. You can hang these in the booth for Halloween. That just used the back of the actual piece that came with it. The cardboard insert that says four by four. Ah, I love it. Who knew it was going to be that easy? Thank you, Ray, for the idea. Dollar Tree thanks you too, because now I'm going to have to go buy a bunch more. Um, I thought, you know, oh, this weird crap on the glass. I thought about trying to do where I had like a base down here and like a candle to kind of light it up or run some lights along the inside of here. But then I thought, you know what? That's a lot of money for not a lot of profit. Because if I tried to make these with LED lights going around the inside, and I have never seen LEDs at the Dollar Tree. Maybe they have them in like the $5 section of the Dollar Tree. Um, it would be cute. Like we could do a full thing of the, of, of the image in here and then light it up. But really, could I make that much off of it when I resold it? Because what I'm thinking is for all of these projects, like... Most of the time, Halloween stuff doesn't sell as well as, say, Christmas. Like, if it was Christmas, you could probably get away with it. But for Halloween, I mean, I'm not going to get that much for it, right? Maybe maybe four bucks, five bucks is the best I could do on something like this. Because most people aren't going to hang stuff for Halloween. Now, if you were doing this for your own purposes... And you wanted to light this up, that'd be kind of cute. Like run a strip of the LED lights around the inside of this. And then light up the full image. But for my purposes, I think this is okay. That's not too bad. 
my stomach's growling. I literally just had dinner and ice cream. Why? Why is my stomach growling? It's like, ah. <laughs> Sorry, my stomach's mean. I know. Gross, Stacy. Gross. Um, now we've got a butterfly, bugs, lungs. Those lungs are too big. The house. The house would be cute. A heart. Some skulls. You know what? Let's just use up the graveyard image and then the house. We don't need the spiders. I don't need no spiders. Let's put those down here. So let's use up one of these like down here. Should be enough. I have three. I have three frames. I thought a triptych would be cute, right? To do for the booth. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a triptych. This time I'm just taking this part out. Let's see. Yeah. There's plenty of room there. Plenty there. And again, we're doing it Stacy's way. Not the right way. Hey, if you have a paper cutter or some other way to make this super neat and professional, then you do you. I clearly am doing it my way. Oh, more Halloween decor, more fun, fun Halloween projects. Victoria, can you come see this? I got to show my daughter. Hang on one second. Come here, look at this. Oh, uh, it's on Yes. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I love it. Is it cute? I love it. Think so? Yeah. I got this one with the bats too, but I got to glue it down now. I like the bats. I like the bats too. I think I'm going to use the bats, that, and then I found this one. Won't that be a cute one, too? Yeah. All right. I just wanted to... Thank you. Yeah. I just needed an opinion. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> She's very helpful. Thank you. She also made the ice cream for me. She's a good kid. I got to tell you, I, I made a good egg. I'm not even taking credit for it. She's just a good person. She's just a good person the way she is. Let's do this where we see the roof line. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That one. She's also really good to bounce things off of because she's good at decorating and and seeing clever little ideas. And sometimes she'll go, well, what if you did this? And it just makes my brain go, oh, thank you. She's fun. Very smart and talented. Must get that from her dad. <laughs> there is a perfume in here. There's a smell in here. Either I'm being haunted or I brought home something that has a perfume on it. Oh, but look how cute the house is. Look at it. It's so cute. Okay. You do have to use a backing on it. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out like what we could do with an x-ray because this just ends up looking like a picture, right? There has to be something we could do. Aren't there projects like on Pinterest and stuff where they use um, old, old um, like negatives and stuff? Hang on a second. All I saw was them using them for around candle holders or uh, lampshades and stuff. So I don't know if I want to get that detailed with the Halloween project. These are cute though. These are fun. These might be fun with different color backgrounds. 
I don't know. I think this is going to make a cute little triptych. I got to fix the bats though. What is that smell? Is it on me? I know you can't smell it. I know this isn't smell a vision, but I don't know where it's coming from. I might be being haunted by some of my junk. Okay. So we have our chip dick of Halloween. Oh, I don't have three hands. <laughs> I don't have three hands. That's my favorite, I think. Got spooky things in the windows. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, Ray. That was a good idea. Now when I hang them in the booth, they'll just be little spooky Halloween-y things and I can just put a couple bucks a piece on them. Otherwise, what was I going to do with those? If anybody has any other ideas aside from making a candle, like attaching it to glass and shining a light through it. I mean, I mean, I couldn't come up with anything. Um, but that's it. I sold a piece on eBay. I got to get packed up. So it's been a really long day for me. And I know this is a super short, easy peasy video. Not every day is a knock it out of the park kind of day. You know what I'm saying? So like some days are great. Some days are like, hey. Dollar Tree loves me this year, that's for sure. As far as other Dollar Tree stuff I got, oh my gosh, you guys. I gotta figure out what to do with these little mini cauldrons. That might be next. They're so cute. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these little mini cauldrons, but we're gonna figure it out. I hadn't seen these at any of the other Dollar Tree. So the other stuff that I bought was just skeletons and frames and stuff like that, that I've seen at all the, all of the Dollar Trees. This was the first time I saw the mini cauldrons. So I thought, I'll show you those. I'll show you these. But other than that, everything was pretty basic Halloween-y stuff. So little mini skeletons and things like that. Um, there's going to be more crafts coming up for all of that. But I'm realizing that literally, literally, there are three weeks left. And then everything I do is going to be Christmas. <laughs> because November, so in three weeks time, it's going to be the October pick a fence gal sale. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be the October pick a fence scale sale. And then it's the kickoff to Christmas for the next one. November is our big sale. And I was telling people at the September sale over and over and over again, we had a couple people come in who were um, new. And there were some people that were like, well, I might not come up here in the winter. And I said to them, you do not want to miss the November sale. And the one gal goes, said, she goes, why? And I said, do you like vintage Christmas? She goes, yeah. I said, do you like shiny brights? Do you like all the vintage Christmas? And she goes, yeah. I said, you don't want to miss November at all. And then one lady said, now, when are you guys done for the season? And I said, we're never done for the season. <laughs> and she goes, well, you don't have, you don't have a sale over the winter. I said, we have a sale all year long. And uh, that's irritating to me that there's still this perception that we close. And, and she goes, well, I drive by and it doesn't look like you're open. I said, we can't have stuff in the yard because it gets frozen into the lawn, but we're still open. Like there's still plenty to be seen and purchased and, and you don't want to miss the November sale because it's Christmas. And I realized this sale, I went out to the garage and I was trying to pull fall stuff. And I realized how much stuff I had for Christmas. And I get really super excited. But that means I have three weeks. All of this Halloween stuff is done. I'm not going to get it all done. I'm not even going to use a tenth of what I bought, I don't think. And then when all that's... 
I got to chuck all that stuff and we got to start like Christmas crafting. I have the wooden, where'd they go? They were right there. I am definitely being haunted. Oh, they're right here. They fell down. The triangles, I still have a bunch of these to make. I did these last year. I sold a bunch, but they're, they're still more to be sold. There's still more to be, it's crazy. I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, it's a lot of work to change it over. Um, I got to start planning and I got to start figuring it out. And I'm looking at a box of shiny brights over there going, Ugh. She's coming fast. So all of this extra crafting that I'm doing for Halloween, part of my brain's going, just stop, just start Christmas crafting right freaking now. <laughs> because I will have three weeks for Halloween and then three weeks and it's Christmas. And I know not for everybody else, but when you're running a business, it's three weeks and it's Christmas, right? It's by the end of November or end of October, it's Christmas in our world. So stay tuned. We will be <laughs> Christmas crafting in three weeks. Plus we had our first frost in Minnesota last night. So I know what a week ago I was sweating in places I didn't even know I had. And now it's frosty. Poor George. My tomato plant has two red tomatoes on it. They're not quite fully red. And he had to have a blankie last night. I love where I live. All right, you guys. This is my project, my one project for today. I have other work I have to get done. But thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.